Hello and welcome to my quest to fix all quests video. Recent updates to the Bedrock Edition has meant that all previous quest videos need this update to ensure they all work as intended. Maybe this video will help with any similar issues you may be having since the execute command has been updated. So as a brief recap, Henry here broke his father's sword and we need to fix it for him. However, the blacksmith he sends us to has a problem of his own. The blacksmith tasks us with killing a couple of bears and gathering iron to repair Henry's father's sword. It's here at the mine that we have our first issue. We need the bear to drop our custom item and therefore need to modify the execute command used to spawn the item upon the bear's death. With the added syntax of the command, we need to target raw cod before running the command. When anything's named in quotation marks, we do not use an underscore, make sure it's a space. The kill command remains as we still need to remove the cod as our item loads. Let's use the polar bear spawn egg to test that's now working. Nope, we need a fully mature bear. That's better. And it's working. Now to hand the items back to the blacksmith. Once he has the pelt and iron, the blacksmith will then offer our reward, which I have already altered. So let's test it now and then we can see how it's changed. Now we need to talk the player interacting with the NPC and then run the command so it changes to execute add player run structure load then the name of the saved item followed by tilde tilde tilde. Now that we have the sword repaired, we can give it to Henry, and it's the same situation for the rewards offered by Henry. Each one has to firstly target the closest player using at player or the player directly interacting with the NPC with at initiator, but either works. Let's test the coin too, just to be sure everything works. In the kill quest, we met the tower guard who wanted us to put a stop to the dark elves at their encampment. We needed to kill the commander and at least six pillagers or dark elves and grab the battle plans. In the same way that we did with the bear and the cod, with the vindicator captain used as the dark elf commander, we need to target the illager banner and then run the command to spawn our item. Again, the kill command remains to remove the banner. Let's spawn in a vindicator captain for which uh, the summon command seems to have also been updated. In a chat bar, use summon vindicator tilde space tilde space tilde facing tilde space tilde space tilde and then minecraft full colon spawn underscore as underscore illager underscore captain <coughs> and let's see if he drops it <coughs> great now we can hand in the plans and we can change our scoreboard manually to make it appear as though we've killed the pillagers Again, in the chat bar, use scoreboard, players, set, at player, kill, six. The execute command for the reward has changed, and so let's test its working, and once again, review the changes. Target the player and then run the structure load. Once we meet Agatha, we require Pixie Tears from the alley locked inside the geode.
Save drop as intended, so let's review the change to the command. We can use the execute command to target the alley itself rather than an entity or item that it may drop, or rather may not drop in the case of this mob. We then run the structure load. The reason I set the command to function this way is that the replace item command was chaotic at best in terms of an alley dropping our custom item. It would have no consistent drop rate, either spamming the item or not spawning it at all. I'm yet to test the new execute command on a single entity that does not drop an item on despawning. Perhaps you could test this and let us know in the comments. Anyway, Agatha then uses the items to brew us mother's milk. And here again, we use the execute command to target the player and then run the structure load. In this quest, we find a mage whose spellcrafting requires our help after he has turned himself into a cow. This quest uses an ender chest to test items within to complete the quest and get the mage out of his bad mood. <laughs> Sorry, terrible joke, I know. However, the first thing you may notice, um, what? Get out of here, pig. Sorry, is that the particle effect has changed. We can now use the execute command to run the particle effect. However, the particle command will still work. I've also changed the effect to a sonic explosion as opposed to the Warden's Dig effect, due in massive part to the absolutely horrendous frame rate drops I experienced when using this, and on PS5 too. Comment if you have experienced similar issues. The next fix is to one of the items I chose to test for in the ender chest that the players were required to gather. The stripped crimson stem, now renamed to hyphae, so it's now not a wood, more of a fungus, or more specifically, hyphae are the branching filaments that make up the mycelium of a fungus. Okay, admittedly, I have to thank Alexa for that one. We just have to alter its name in the commands where we use it for the title and test for commands. So now let's add the items to the chest and test whether the mage can return to his somewhat original form. Ah. Here we've used the execute command to spawn the saved NPC. The execute command does not need to target an entity, so we can simply run the command, but at the specific location we want the NPC to spawn. Let's test the NPC fully works and collect our reward. Again, the reward item execute command will target the player before running the command. And lastly, we teleport the player with a particle effect. And albeit the effect has changed, I have left it as the original particle effect command to show it still works. If this has helped you with your own creations or furthered your understanding of the new execute commands then i would appreciate your support with a like and maybe a sub if you want more content like this in the meantime i'll leave you with all the lovely loot we have managed to collect in this quest to fix all quests take care <laughs>